draw us closer to you day by day, Lord. I thank you for what you're doing in my life, Lord. Mm. Lord, I thank you for, for the blessings, Lord. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing right now with your people. Mm. Lord, I pray that we would never give up hope to you, Lord, mm. to not give in to this world, Lord. Mm. So, Lord, I pray that you would trust in you, Lord. Or not even in just hard times, Lord, but always. Lord, I pray for your guidance. Lord, I thank you for the visions you have given to us, Lord. Lord, I pray for understanding of those. So, Lord, I pray this in your name. Go ahead, Elijah, what do you saw? Um, I saw a pretty short vision. I just saw, um, I just saw, uh, just a blue diamond. It was very it was like a crystal or emerald diamond i don't know exactly but emerald was green yeah i i so i guess it, i guess it was a diamond um blue because yeah it was green. blue it was blue, blue. Okay. um wow, that's but it was suddenly it was hilted onto a sword that had a that had a golden handle golden hilt hilt yeah. yeah so yeah but that's mm. all i saw which the mm. sword had it had it was a double-edged sword. It was mm. the diamond was put in the middle of the hilt. So okay. interpretation. Go to go. I think if you saw like a, depending on the shade of blue, it was just for clarification on the stone. It may have been like a sapphire or something. If it was like a deeper blue, oh. if it was like a lighter reflective blue than it was a diamond. But it depends on yeah. what you saw. Is it is this kind of blue? This kind of blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Sapphire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's what I have in my inner region. Yes, sapphire. Okay. Sapphire or diamond? It's don't you don't know exactly what. It was it was, it was more of a darker blue. Darker blue. Okay. Mm. Sapphire must be so. It could, yeah, it could. Mm-hmm. I think, well, I mean, the blue, that kind of blue, would be the would be the stone maybe used in the scriptures would be sapphire I think yeah 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 or I don't on, onyx I don't really know I, I don't know either so <laughs> not a joke actually I have a book I'm ready to read against uh, talking about the twelve stones so hmm. I don't mind I share that but anyway so what do you, you what do you understand well in that case I think maybe you uh, would you have more understanding on what that kind of color that type of stone would represent because I actually don't have much knowledge as to what that means. Oh, I, 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 I think I understand this vision very well. So hmm. the sword is you in us. Uh, and uh, the, the blue diamond, excellency is always representing wisdom, a certain kind of wisdom, a certain kind of understanding. I think it's to do with a, a pure heavenly, like a sea, right? Some heavenly color, so pure color. So God is going to give you heavenly wisdom or wisdom from above to, 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 to almost activate your life. You, you know, you know you, you're calling like a sword. Sword is like a ministry, right? A sword is a spirit, more about the prophetic gift, the sharpening understanding. So, but, but the activation is when you come together, it's almost like until things are finished, they cannot really put in use, and right? They're still in the working process. So I think that is repo- uh, reflect you about what I discern for you. The Lord confirmed it's time for your life to be getting into education, spiritual education, spiritual formation, you know, for your destiny. So, does it make sense to you, Elijah? Yes, I hope I don't over because I think the Lord told me the sword is you and uh, this is the wisdom will be given to you so yeah amen hallelujah, hallelujah. that is a facility that I said was a people he planted in your life or placed in your life am right so we can send to you yeah so yeah. Uh, and God works through multiple People multiple occasions, so it's but he did one work, you know, so making sense to you. Yeah. You have a vision for Elijah, right? Somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw. Um, I saw Elijah working on a yard, just of 
of grass and what I saw him do was at first he was mowing the grass with a lawnmower mm -hmm. and what would happen is he would cut the grass very low and smooth but then right as it went over and was cut it went it grew back up directly to the same height mm. um, as he was going so um, the lawn the lawn basically wasn't being cut all the way down mm. and so nothing was really um, it wasn't like a productive work process mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I saw that he changed his technique and he instead this time he spread oil like a a lighting oil over the entire lawn and then lit the lawn on fire oh. until it burnt away and oh. instead of leaving like dry dead grass mm. um the 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 lawn turned into like a, a very deep rich like mulch or yeah uh, soil, like fruitful that. soil, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like very deep, dark brown, mm -hmm. and he actually produced a garden out of what was that once a lawn. What is done? Yeah. Yeah. He began to work as gardening on that. Yeah. Field. So he began to grow like what kind of fruitful things? things. Like fruitful I didn't see exactly what kind of plants, but like flowers oh. and vegetables. Oh, wow. it's beautiful garden. Yeah. And we talked about the garden, right? Mm -hmm. Earlier. Is that amazing? Yeah, that's crazy, because you use those things, work on those things, and so it's not a, a strange experience for you, you know, rather a life experience for you, and God use it to 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 tell you he gonna he gonna have you to change your method, <laughs> eradicate the the grass coming back in China actually talking about weeds come back is a bad habit, bad way, right? So that's speaking about your life. And so especially you maybe your your intellectual life, if I'm not sure sure. So you know, the the, the part that you attaining to knowledge, you know, so to try to gain knowledge. So Amen, hallelujah. So what do you think, Elijah? This region. I'm not sure I have much understanding yeah. on it, other than what you guys have said about it. Yeah, you don't really know. Go ahead, explain to him again. Um, I think... Uh, you do remember the Ouija, right? That Noah just explained? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, the detail of the Ouija. Okay, let me let him explain to you. Well, I have a understanding that the lawnmower mm -hmm. um, resembled, resembled like a very conventional way of thinking. Ah. Because that's the most uh, practical way to take care of your lawn is yeah, to just mow yeah. the lawn, obviously. Yeah. And then, and changing technique by burning yeah. the entire lawn, not only. That's unconventional. Not on, no, well, yeah, it's very unconventional, but it not only destroys the original purpose, but it changes the purpose. Changes. So now it was no more a purpose of lowering the lawn but he yeah. actually produced a garden at this point that's great so he got rid of the entire idea of a lawn yeah. and produced a garden yes but first he needed to to do the very yeah as we mentioned unconventional and destructive process of burning a lawn yeah that's like transformation of life in a sense and right yeah so, yeah spiritual life Amen. well uh i don't know why god sent me in that in this session for you guys